Today I wanted to make a visualization for the spaghetti sort algorithm. I'm going to do this in processing. What I really like about spaghetti sort is that you can understand it without knowing anything about computer science. The name comes from how you would sort uncooked spaghetti from shortest to tallest. Imagine you grab a handful of spaghetti, press it against a bench, and then press your hand against the top of the spaghetti so that you can identify the longest piece, remove that piece, and repeat until the spaghetti is sorted. For this visualization, I want to have an unsorted array of vertical bars with random heights, then a horizontal bar that comes down from the top. The first vertical bar that it comes into contact with will be the tallest, so we'll move that one to the side and then repeat the process until they're in order. Okay, I'm going to cut to a time lapse of me coding this, then I'll walk you through the code. Alright, so the code's done. At the top here we have a few global variables. These are the size of the array we want to sort, the array to be sorted, the positions to draw the vertical bars at, and the bar object. I made a horizontal bar or horizontal rectangle class because I need a fair bit of functionality from the bar so it was easier to make a class with methods. Let's go over to the bar class. So the bar has a y position and a width. We have a move method that moves it down the screen, a shrink method that reduces its width by one vertical bar width. That's because when we move the tallest spaghetti out of the way, we don't want to hit the same tall, already sorted piece again. And we have the reset height method. Back in the main script, we have the setup function. We just set everything up here. <laughs> the canvas size, the values of the unsorted array, and the exposition array. The expos array is basically just so the vertical bars fit nicely on the screen. Inside the draw loop, we draw the background, then we draw the vertical rectangles, draw the horizontal bar, and move the horizontal bar. This if statement checks whether the horizontal bar is touching the tallest vertical rectangle, then if it is touching, it moves the horizontal bar back to the top, shrinks the horizontal bar, moves the tallest rectangle, and adjusts this check variable. This check is so that we don't try to sort elements that have already been sorted. Then, finally, we end the loop once the horizontal bar has checked the last element. Here are the different functions if you want to have a look, but I'm not going to worry about explaining them. Just leave a comment if you have any questions. Alright, enough of that. Let's run the script. This is an array of five elements. So you can see that when it finds the tallest rectangle, it swaps it with the rightmost one under the red bar. and they're sorted. Let's do 10 elements. Mm, I might speed it up a bit. Oh, hang on, just let me do something. Yeah, nice, spaghetti sort. Uh... Okay, 10 elements, nice. Now we'll do 100 so we can see it running for a longer time. Actually, you know what? I have a idea. <laughs> I have an idea. Yeah, that looks better. There's something weirdly satisfying about watching sorting algorithms.
it, I'm going to bump up the speed again and sort an array of 500. If you liked the video, leave a like. If you want to see more from me, consider subscribing. See you in the next one.